welcome back to the channel folks today we're tackling a crucial topic for job seekers so you've submitted application after application and now you've landed an interview which is amazing and so let's dive into how to establish a strong connection with an interviewer and whether you're a seasoned professional or new to the job market mastering the skill can significantly impact your career journey so let's jump right in preparation is absolutely essential regardless of whether the interview is in person or virtual this effort won't go unnoticed and will be appreciated by the hiring manager and definitely the recruiter you're meeting with i think it's also crucial to research the company its culture the role you've applied for and not only does this demonstrate your interest but it also equips you to ask insightful questions during the interview. I'd also say furthermore, it allows you to inquire about the interviewer's personal experiences with employee resource groups, benefits, perks, and even internal trends of the company that they're willing to share. And I would also say, for instance, you can ask about bonus incentives, how bonuses are structured, or the process of even taking time off. You know, this deeper level of inquiry enhances your understanding of the company and also showcases your genuine interest. Next, work on telling your story effectively. Be ready to talk about experiences and achievements that show off your skills and how they match what the job needs. Share specific examples that highlight how you solve problems, led teams, and even made a difference in past roles. Using stories like these help the interviewer see why you're a great fit for the position and makes you as a candidate more memorable. Now here's some additional key advice. Remember this, during the interview, prioritize establishing a strong rapport with the interviewer by maintaining good eye contact throughout the discussion just to showcase your attentiveness and interest in the dialogue you're having. I'd also say, additionally, mirroring the interviewer's body language, such as posture and gestures, this can help create a sense of connection and comfort and can be done during virtual and in-person interviews. Engage in active listening by nodding and responding appropriately to show that you're fully engaged in the conversation. I'd say also to ask relevant questions and express genuine curiosity about the company, the role, and the interviewer's experiences. Building rapport not only fosters a comfortable atmosphere, but also allows for more meaningful and productive discussions during the interview. So by prioritizing positive nonverbal cues, active listening, and showing genuine interest in the conversation and the interviewer's experiences at the company, you can create a strong connection here and make a lasting impression. I think this approach not only fosters rapport, but also demonstrates just your enthusiasm and engagement, which can set you apart from other candidates. So finally, remember the fundamental aspects of professional conduct. Dress appropriately for the interview, ensure that your attire reflects the company's culture and industry standards from your research. Also, arrive punctually and preferably a few minutes early to demonstrate reliability and respect for the interviewer's time. So no more than 15 minutes for an in-person interview and no more than five minutes for virtual interviews. So following the interview, it's essential to send a personalized thank you note to express your appreciation for the opportunity. In the thank you note, reiterate your interest in the position and highlight the key points from the interview that showcase your qualifications and enthusiasm. This gesture not only demonstrates your gratitude, but it also keeps you fresh in the interviewer's mind and continues to build the relationship you have with the interviewer. And not all interviewers are expecting a thank you note, so this can be an underrated gesture in today's market. So I have some data to share with you. According to one survey by Top Resume, 68% of employers and hiring managers say writing a short thank you note matters after a job interview. In the same survey, 16% of interviewers, so one out of five, 
said they ruled the candidate out. This is because they did not send a post interview thank you email or note. So by adhering to these basic practices, you showcase your professionalism, attention to detail, and your commitment to making a positive impression throughout the interview process. So thank you for tuning in and I wish you the best of luck with your upcoming interviews. Don't forget to show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing for more valuable career insights and be sure to check out the link in the video description for details on my LinkedIn optimization and my resume writing coaching services. So until next time, stay blessed by the best. Take care.